I'm back, y'all. Thank y'all for coming back. So, yeah, I was reading about Rachel um, weeping, whining, and weeping for her children. So, uh, we are familiar with the heartbreaking story of the first little ones who had to give their lives for Jesus, who's known as the Holy Innocent, slaughtered because of Herod's jealous rage. One piece of the story that we might not pay attention to is the prophecy that the Gospel of Matthew says, Fulfill, fulfilled, okay. Herod sent and killed all the male children in Bethlehem and in all that region who were two years old or under, according to the time which he had a, a certain from the wise, a certain folks, so the way you heard about what the wise men said. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and wailing, Rachel weeping and wailing for her children. Okay. One piece of the story that we might not pay much attention to is the prophecy that the Gospel of Matthew says fulfilled. Okay, I wrote that. I did that twice. I did. That's my fault. Thought I did it more. But yeah, it's just, um, uh, I'm trying to see, I did, I'm going to be going so fast sometimes. But I don't know, it's just something that they, so they've been doing this for years. They've been killing children, they've been killing for different reasons and saying it's because of this person and that person. Kids have to die because of this. Okay, let's go on. Um, okay. So we were talking about the Council of 24, a group of beings. They include 24, they call them either 24 elders in the Bible and revelations or 24 scientists in different countries, 24 species that live here, okay? One is humanoid. We're here before any humans on this planet. These are the original earthlings, um, well known with high, high ups know about this. Look for the stars was council look for stars was the council okay that was that was they, they was called creature creature creatures and races and all religious texts i say decode all this stuff okay they didn't he didn't name all of them i'm going from uh furbu 9 and 13 signs astrology he's talking about the monarchy and the um how you say the other one patriarch okay so he's, he's talking about different ones, and I'm not going to name all of them because he's, he didn't name all of them. Okay. Uh, we are part of 23 races. We can be the most powerful beings in this universe because we have all of them in us. We don't have to be in control. We don't have to be controlled at all. We can become chief and leaders of this galaxy. They created us in our, mag in our Im in their image. They keep the peace hear her on this planet and balance okay that's what they he, okay now went to the council 24 he said they keep the peace and balance on the planet they have different levels of this planet and layers caverns I, I remember a vision I had years ago they took me to the, the sky in the sky and there was a, a giant castle and it was black, and it was just sitting in the sky. Then I didn't know about Dubai, or none of that, till they, uh, till I seen them have their houses and stuff in the sky. But it wasn't black. But I just thought that was, I was puzzled about that for many, many years. Still don't understand, but I'm kind of understanding now. Okay. They have decided that the Illuminati will lose power. They were too. They were told to tell the humans about them and what's going on, and they haven't. Humans may not want to be in control. This is what the Illuminati thinking. Humans may not want to be in control, rule, so there is a leading, so they want to keep on leading us, the Illuminati, and still be in control. They don't think we're smart enough, and we don't act like it, y'all. Okay? Come on, y'all. Let's get it together. But they want the Illuminati to make humans strong and teach them about everything being green. Boom. See that? etc into the higher order we are destroying the earth and the peaceful species that's us humans can't live they their way that is peaceful 
so they want us to all be peaceful. They they're agreeing with the Andromeda's and um, the Fucus. Okay, they're agreeing where we can live in harmony. Stop tearing up. Stop shooting animals. Stop getting pleasure in that. Beating your wife, raping your kids, rape you know, kidnapping kids, and so on and so on. You know what I'm saying? They want to get rid of us because of our lazy, no all, no all us, no allness. We think we know it all. Uncaring ways, thinking someone else is supposed to clean up our mess. Galactic Federation in charge of space told the Council of 24 to handle this. So that's what I say. They, you know, charge of everything. We need to understand how precious this earth is. And we are the only ones that live here and care about it. And we should know that for facts. We should stop taking things out of Mother Earth, our gold, our silver, the, all of that minerals, the oil, all they need to stop. All them police places that's doing that, they're going to get handled. You know, it was a man that found a way to use the cars with water. They killed that man. Somebody else did it, but they don't want you to know about that because they can't control and they won't make money. You know, and they won't be able to do their evil ways if they don't have the money because they'll get exposed okay um we should stop taking things out of mother earth ask ourselves do we really need all we are taking out of it out of her stop killing animals the new world order is the biggest council of the earth and universe they are wanting us to change don't get out of tune with with our, with yourself make yourself better so we can rise above any evilness that is trying to take control keep control over us because they could be making us look bad y'all and they are now fucus okay let's talk about him or her i think morphodite man and woman together i think um stop destroying destroying the trees okay he's a being beings of them before the and and Anaki, they were here. Fruca, or Fucus was here before the Anunnaki. They are part of the serpent constellation. Okay, so they're part of that. They represent the snake. In 1604, their star exploded, dying out in constellation of a Fucus. Okay, the Anunnaki came. The Murdoch, or whatever they call him, Melchizedek, told different. Uh, okay, different names, but still the same story. Okay, they call it different names. Didn't like what well, I told y'all about patterns repeating itself. Don't didn't like the control, so he had his own group to heal. Okay, Ophiuchus didn't like the control when uh, when the because everything was good when when uh, Ophiuchus was here. Okay, he had little hiccups with the beans before the humans and before an Anunnaki. Okay. So he didn't like the control, so he had his own group to heal them, themselves and others. He made up light workers, so he the one made up the light workers. If you're a healer and you want peace and you want to take care of Mother Earth, you put up fucus, okay? To better plant through healing, you know? To better healing through plants, okay? He wanted the control to stop. But the Anunnaki and others didn't want it to stop before and after humans. They didn't want to stop when they started. We started coming and we started making and messing with our DNA and stuff like they're trying to do now. That's disrespectful. Did y'all see that that shot? Did y'all get that in your Facebook or on your Instagram that that shot they're trying to give us got a 70-year-old man's shit in it? Wow. I also heard it got melanin in it as well from other people that are convinced to take the melanin out their body. Wow, that's, that's horrible, y'all. Show you how much they care about us, us humans. And in Nike like control, they have the cure for death. Check it out. Now, I was just saying another one. That if they copper blue blood, why we got iron? Why we worry about iron? Why they convince us of all these other minerals that they're taking out of our food that's going to keep us alive, that's actually killing us, but they don't eat it. Go online and listen to some people that you might think is a true or not, but listen to some of them reptilians talk and all the other bees. Not everybody is a lie. Not everybody is fake. Listen to them. 
His teachings are what they say the Andromedos is doing now. Okay, so yeah, and that's what Andromedos say they're coming back to do. But he's also, he, she, and Fucus, like I say, is both men and women. He cuts spells on, he cuts spells on beings with his mind. Okay, he casts spells on, he start, uh, um, Fucus started casting spells on people and mess with their minds to try to make them think for themselves and stop the control so you can see what you're doing, okay? But the other beings didn't like the uh, like that. And especially the ones like the Garden of Eden. We thinking it's a, oh, a wonderful place to go back to. It. That was a plantation. So I'm, I'm being told, you know? And I'm gonna get to this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the so. I'm gonna keep on. So if Fucus didn't like this, he wanted them to be free. So is this what I am reading in my book about the devil? Let's read some of the stuff, okay? Y'all remember I showed y'all this book right here. Let me just read y'all some quotes of it's for Fucus the devil that they, they try to convince us that was so evil. Okay, first off, he called Michael the archangel a bewinged lizard. Okay, check that out. Okay. Then he says, I am God, okay, trying to Okay, let's go. I never doubted that for a moment, even while in exile in heaven under the oppressive tyranny of the rebellion, rebels now temporarily in control, and my self confidence remained unshaken. So that's what he wants us to do. The tyrant is a cosmic bully. So he's saying the ones that want everybody under control. So evidently, he's talking about the beings, because it seems like the council. And the, and the Galactic Federation, they didn't want that. So it had to be a certain being, okay? Uh, may, may, my, may my contempt find voice. The tyrant and his fall princeling desires to impose their will on all that is. What an irony. The tyrant wants to be God over all. I do not. The tyrant is jealous and selfish as well as tyr tyrannical. I am generous and liberal. I do not want to jump in my, my beck. I do not want him to jump in my beck and call. Yet he wants me and all other beings in the universe to obey his every whim. His lust for power disgusts me. This is Lucifer, the devil they call, talking about this, okay? Let me state this categorically. I do not wish to impose my will <clears throat> on angels or men or on creatures of any kind. To be God in no way implies being king in everyone's in everyone else's life. Why should it be? The tyrant is the one who wants to will everything. I simply want to be God. I am willing to for even the most insignificant child of Abraham to direct his own life. Check him out. He wants to direct your own life. In fact, that is my will. If I must have a will for others, I do not want others to do my will. I want them to do their own. I only desire that all will, will their own will. The tyrant is obsessed. We're convincing men and angels that he alone is God. I am not offended that the tyrant calls himself a God. By all means, let him be a God. For that matter, I am willing for everything breathing to be a God. Let us all be gods. Check that out. The current inst institute of heaven is manifestly obsessed in the tyrant's wicked determination to be recognized as God. The God exclusively God. What monstrous ego. The tyrant wants one universe with himself as its only God, directing all wills by his will. There you have it. The contrast is spark and terrible. I want each being to have his own universe and to be its God. He wants one universe with himself as God. That is great cosmic conflict. Perhaps, let me see what it, I am the cosmic liberator. I am the mind behind the mind of every true struggle for freedom from domination. 
The tyrant is the author of bondage and the dictator of all dictators. To subject a man's body to slavery. To subdue his mind is manipulation. To break his spirit is total domination. To do all three at once is an evil untempted by an except any except the tyrant and his obscure son. Check that out. Yeah. Okay. I'll let y'all fest on that. <laughs> but the other beings didn't like the Garden of Eden. Okay. So it's a plantation. That's why he said he did that. He wanted Adam Eve to be free. He didn't like that they had to sit there alone and wait on the... Okay. Y'all y'all see. Uh, so this is what I'm reading in my book. Okay. Okay. Uh, the... the uh, a fucus wanted you accountable for your own actions as well. Okay, just like they're talking Andromeda, just like a fucus, you know, uh, the, you know, like you're talking about the devil I just read. Is that a fucus that they say was devil and such a tyrant? You know, I don't know. I'm still searching, y'all, for so many answers. Murdoch, the de de deity, a god of religion, school of... Um, Achizadet, a immortality, put them under control to come workers, give them limited information, have them depend on God to save them, spell on Nuvon, people human of, of sleep, the spell of sleep, human sleep, okay? So, um, a fucus was waking people up and giving them the knowledge so that made him the bad guy. They stopped him from coming to this planet, okay? I don't know what kind of way, okay? But our sun moves across the stars of a fucus every day. Maybe he found a clever way to enlighten people, okay? I was, I was looking at what they were saying was in space. Let me see if I can find that right quick. Uh, okay. I have been found that along with the black hole and all that kind of stuff. Showed y'all some of that last time. But let me see if I can find it. Yeah. So could this be where they say they don't know what it is? Could this be his, his spaceship or planet while he's, you know, watching over us? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm trying to find out. Okay, they claim they don't know what that rock is. Okay. They don't know the alien space. I don't know. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay. Um, when I stop that. Uh, okay. Call him the devil or Satan in the Bible. Okay. Uh, Anunnaki has a cure for death. We was talking about that. My thoughts. I thought, so y'all see how I feel about that? I feel, I, I know we weren't supposed to, but see, our mind is so strong and they know that we could kill our own self, okay? Uh, Fucus, woman or man, color, uh, his color is white. See, I, I just found out the color. I put green because I figured the earth. So that's why I put the white elephant. The unknown constellation of the unknown galaxy. So there's many galaxies, many universes. That's why they had that that black hole that I think I showed y'all yesterday. Uh, where they say they don't know. This could be a fucus. You know what I'm saying? This could be ways into other galaxies, other holes that they claim they don't know nothing about. But you know, they've been lying to us for centuries, right? So, you know. The doggone is the key. Serious. Okay, whatever. Um, and Anaki came up with the pr prison system and other things to keep people in prison. A lot of this will have you questioning everything. What is the truth? A fucus angels, white, they were white angels, look like snakes, okay? They say we have 55 stars on this planet. Every 20 years, they make their themselves known. Last was 2005, I don't know about now. Hopefully, I'm thinking through me and others like me. Because I want the truth and I want peace. I'm sick of this. Hopefully we all start learning the love he wanted for everyone. He is the ninth house serpent. We need a positive spell put on people. <laughs> T 
to love with the highest order, the way the cosmos was supposed to be. Okay? So I want to read more. Let me see if I read a little more, y'all. You know, y'all, I can go on and on. I got so many notes. It's like on and on and on. So, yeah. So just kind of, you know, just question everything, y'all. And, and stop paying attention who comes in your life. Insulting people, put you down. You know, they might be lost or hurt or whatever, but you don't have to allow that in your life. Partners that's keeping you bondage in the mind and putting you down and disrespecting you and disrespecting your children. Are you doing that? Women, men, whoever. You know what I'm saying? Stop paying attention so you can put the right people in your life and keep the ones that ain't out because they're not playing. We're seeing it all the time about stuff getting taken care of and take stuff getting taken care of in the spiritual realm that we would be able to see if we focus on ourselves and do the meditation, everything we talked about. We can start seeing what's going on. We can help. You know what I'm saying? In some type of way because we're part of everything. We are strong human beings. We are very strong, y'all. So that's what I want to say today, y'all. I love y'all and thank y'all for listening. This is your girl Ruth signing out, which I like, subscribe, share, and comment. Anything I want to add, anything I said out of hand, please let me know, okay? All right, love y'all. Till next time. Bye.